Good morning again. So I had this idea last night that maybe I would start to do a series of these videos and call them the daily spread, as in doing a spread in this new uh, art sketchbook per day. So daily spread. And so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, it's chilly this morning, so I am wearing a sweatshirt here in the mountains, but it is beautiful, a beautiful view. I will switch you around so you can see. This is the view we're looking at when I look away from our porch. Super relaxing and peaceful, and I'm ready to start the day. And if you watched yesterday's video, um, Intuitive Paint With Me video, which is the same thing as this, I'm just kind of switching the name up, I guess, uh, based on my intuition. Uh, I just grabbed some supplies that I felt like getting out. Some of them are the same as yesterday's. I've got a couple extra ones, and we'll just see what happens. Let's take a look at what I got. All right, so here's today's table. I've got my gouache set out again, my Caran d'Ache gouache. Um, I've got my Stabilo Woody pencils, uh, which are water soluble. I brought out a set of watercolors, and this is a set that I just made by taking uh, plastic water bottle, plastic water bottle caps. Um, putting a magnet, gluing a magnet onto the bottom, and then filling them with tube watercolors and letting them dry. So these are mostly Daniel Smith brand watercolors. Um, for whatever reason, I brought out some blue colored pencils, some water soluble, and some alcohol markers. And um, my gold ink, which I'm not sure you know, how I'll end up using it, if I end up using it, but I felt like bringing it out, Windsor and Newton gold ink. And then these were uh, Jane Davenport inks, these bottles were, um, but I ended up mixing some ink with some flow aid and some acrylic paint. Um, so yeah, we will see if and how these get used. And then just some random brushes, um, some water in one of my unicorn mugs available on redbubble.com. And then of course, coffee. Cheers. So this is my sketchbook. This was yesterday's spread. And I'm switching to the next page. And I don't mind if this, um, you know, gets on top of or has the interference, supposed interference of the previous day. I'm just going to go ahead and start creating. Uh, I'm grabbing one of my brushes and my watercolors to start out with. And let's just see. I'm going to dab some water into the different hands um, and then just see I'm gonna use this green gold I think uh, and this is an illo sketchbook which I mentioned yesterday I L L O I purchased it because I really love the square format and I really love the size so I wanted to give it a shot um, the water I'm mentioning this because it's not a specifically watercolor book, which is why you'll notice the water kind of puddling up on top here. Uh, I'm going to feel like adding some of this blue. And these are going to be quick. The idea is for these, you know, if they do actually become daily sessions, for these to um, not take forever. And the reason for that as well is because I noticed that the longer I give myself to work on a piece, um, sometimes the more it makes me stuck because I start to get into the mode of, oh, well, if I have this much time to do something, then it's got to be perfect, right? And um, perfection, um, in my opinion, is kind of the enemy of <laughs> innovation and creation because we get so tentative that um, you're tentative and afraid because we don't want to mess up or we want to make something worth our time. Um, when our lives are so full of things, just in general, then I think we tend to have the compulsion to, um, you know, something has to have a certain amount of value or worth or be productive or something in order for us to feel like, now I feel like adding this in order for us to feel like it's okay for us to spend our time doing it. And so the goal of these daily spreads um, is one, uh, 
for me to get myself <laughs> back into creating on a daily basis because I do create, um, but it hasn't been super consistent. Uh, we've had a lot of changes in the last year. Um, I've mentioned in some of my other videos that my son and I ended up mo having to move three or four times um, in just a year. And so that whole process of having to find a new place and come up with deposits and, you know, move our stuff because I don't have a moving van. I don't have um, a large friend network here where we live. Um, we're not natives to this area. We've been here about five or six years. And so I end up doing everything myself and it has taken a lot out of me. And on the other hand, it has been um, symbolic to me of my own evolution because I am strong and I am self-reliant. And, you know, the things that I have created and the things that I have evolved into, I feel are very telling in terms of my own growth and capacities. So while it was a very challenging year, um, it has also been very enlightening and um, productive in its own way, even though that hasn't manifested in you know, regular art uh, until now. So now that we finally have a space that has some natural light to it and has some, um, I don't know what you would say, I guess just more airiness, um, lightness. I'm not sure how this is gonna work with alcohol markers on top of water, but I'm just trying it out. Uh, but anyway, I feel like this new environment is much more conducive to creating. I feel like I'm not going uphill, um, whereas the last place we lived was gorgeous, but it didn't get a lot of natural light. Um, and was very, very tiny. And our current place is very tiny as well, but um, it still feels like there's more space um, to create and to create more easily. Um, now I'm feeling compelled to um, dip my finger into some of the watercolor and just make some little dots across the page. Uh, so, you know, the whole point of these two is to allow yourself to experiment if you would like to play along with me, to participate with me. Um, really allow yourself to experiment and see what happens um, if you do a particular thing. Because again, there is no messing up and the only way to really, I'm going to try and move the camera and my sketchbook because it's been raining since last night. But all of a sudden, the sun is coming out, apparently. So I'm just going to see if I can readjust my low-tech setup. Um, yet still effective enough. It's all we need. Um, that's the other thing, is not needing to wait until circumstances are perfect. You know, I'm not waiting until I have some elaborate setup or some elaborate artist studio before I show you um, what is possible. So... I'm just gonna dab this, and this is that kind of acrylic paint um, that's mixed with something called Flow Aid and um, some ink. And this is totally just intuitive, kind of what I feel, where I feel like adding in this extra color, um, this more opaque um, on top of what I've already got down. And I'm just adding a little bit more. Um, all I did was, um, so these bottles, I love these ink bottles because they have the little dropper in them. And so I just flipped over a scrap of paper and I'm using that as an impromptu palette um, to get some more color here. Color here. And now I am feeling like I want to keep using the same brush. And there is a difference between watercolor and acrylic brushes or mixed media brushes. Your watercolor brushes you really want to keep just, just for watercolor. Um, now for whatever reason, I'm feeling like using this gold ink. So I'm just gonna splatter it on here. Um, and then maybe kind of dab some on in various places. And yes, this is maybe chaotic, seems kind of chaotic. And 
The whole point is to experiment and play. Um, so <laughs> that is exactly what I'm doing. There we go. I'm going to rinse that off. And see if I feel like maybe putting on, getting out another, actually my orange um, Stabilo pencil is kind of calling me. So I'm just going to kind of add that in a couple places. Oh, and the other thing about keeping these relatively short is then it gets me out of my a tendency to overwork something because along with feeling like it needs to be perfect, um, sometimes then I end up spending too much time on something when it really could have been done um, a while ago. So uh, here we go. And hang on just a second because I just had a sudden inspiration. I feel like um, adding some gesso. So this is just white gesso. Um, it's a small bottle because I don't have a lot of space, as I mentioned here. Where we are living at the moment, most of my stuff is in a storage unit in town. And then I go into town periodically and um, get out what I feel like I need for that day. So just using some gesso here to intuitively intuitively create always intuitively creating well, I shouldn't say always there are some things that I do plan out a little bit more um, my pet portrait work um, I do some minimal planning where I actually you know try to make sure it's gonna fit on the page where I want it to fit but otherwise um, and as I mentioned I haven't really let myself sit down I've been doing a lot of um, learning on my own and practicing so I've been practicing um, portraiture. I've been learning some more about plain air, about, you know, painting landscape-ish or nature outside, um, as opposed from strictly from photo reference. And so I have been, you know, learning. Um, and because I do have other, you know, daily responsibilities as well, I've kind of let that take me away from um, this more intuitive style of creation. And now I feel like I'm gonna get out a colored pencil. And even though there is stuff here, I guess this is a purple colored pencil. And this will be just in time because the sun is starting to creep in. Um, and these, again, as I mentioned yesterday, I just really love scribble marks. So you don't have to scribble. <laughs> but these are the marks that I have found over years of experimenting and playing that I come back to most frequently and that I just really love. There's just a, a pleasure and a joy that comes to me when I am allowing myself to scribble um, instead of um, coloring in the lines, if you will. So I am going to just stand up and I'm going to adjust my camera one more time because the sun is slowly creeping onto my spread. Um, but I'm feeling like we are pretty close to, pretty close to where I want to be. And now I'm just feeling like I'm going to get my watercolors out again and add some orange dots, some orange dots. And again, this is just intuitive. This is not a process, but um, fingerprints <laughs> are another kind of a signature, I guess, something that I have noticed that I do come back to um, in various pieces over the years. Um, just something that I really, really love. Um, so 
Um, and I'm not moving as quickly right now. And that's just, again, intuitively, I didn't tell myself, okay, after this amount of time, you're going to sit down. <laughs> it's just something that has happened. And I feel like um, I also want some of this blue, cobalt blue. Um, which is kind of darker. I feel like I'll put a dot there and a dot there. And this feels like for today, um, we are complete. So I'm gonna take this out into the sun now so you can see. And here I've just set it up on our railing and we'll walk over to it. So this is today's daily spread. Um, as I zoom in, or as I'm lowering the camera, because this is low-tech hand-holding, you can see the variety of textures and marks that I have made. You can see um, over here where the colored pencil has cut into the drying acrylic, which is a cool texture. Um, you can see how we've got the you know, watercolor underneath, um, the dots that I did with my fingerprints are thicker and that was watercolor, but because there wasn't as much water in the pans, that's what we've got. Yeah, I'm coming back inside just for a second. I know the sound is a little bit weird in here because um, we do have really high ceilings, but um, I hope that was fun for you. I hope there was some inspiration or some little nugget of oh yeah, I really want to try that, or I never thought of that before, or you know what, I really can just let myself play for a few minutes, and it's okay if it doesn't look finished, if it doesn't um, have any kind of purpose or mission or you know greater planned use after this creation session. Um, for me, I just had this nudge last night to maybe try doing these every day, um, for a little while and maybe fill up this sketchbook, maybe not, but whether or not I follow through with this initial idea, the key is listening to my intuitive hits in the moment and following them wherever they may lead, knowing that things might change course, the energy might change, there might be some new evolution at some point and that's perfectly fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> If you follow your intuition, there's nothing wrong with you if an idea changes form. So um, let yourself play and I look forward to seeing what you create.